Jaden Springer, he's a good competitor. His game has grown over the years. He's the third leading scorer in the whole 17U at 15 years of age. It's Jaden Springer here. Me and my boys are gonna turn up this weekend. I realized he was gonna be something special in basketball at nine years old. He got a pit bull mentality. Very humble young man. High character individual. That'll carry him a long way in life. He's like, he's normal. He don't act like he's ranked or anything like that. Well, he's a great student. Cares about his schoolwork. I will compete. I will be aggressive. I will win the Under Armour City. We just landed in Dallas on our way to O.D. Wyatt High School to work out with um, Dave Britton. We're here in the gym about to get this work in. Seven hours till tip off. <laughs> Jaden's always played up. He's always played above his age group. So it's nothing new to him like it would be for some kids. He's used to the physicality of the game. He's used to the speed of the game. Tonight I want to see uh, his defense continue. He has outstanding defense, especially for his age. He understands the defensive game super well. And offensively, he'll be able to dominate the game because not only does he shoot, he passes, he rebounds, he got a complete game. So we're going to go 4-0, and we're going to be everything by at least, at least, I say at least 15. I'm Jaden Springer here in Dallas. Be ready for tonight. He was just coming off two ankle injuries, and then when those got better, he had growing pains in his foot, so he had a hard time jumping and coming down on the way he normally does. Even with him not being at 100%, he's still the third leading scorer in the whole 17U at 15 years of age. Elite on three. One, two, three. Elite. Beginning of the game, we came out strong. We had a pretty good lead. The second quarter, they fought back. They were playing harder than us, out-rebounding us. That killed us in the second half. You guys are not playing the way we play. I missed the alley. I mean, they pushed it up. Had the crowd going, momentum on this side. So that's really what we through the game. I know how good we are. I know how good we can play. But it was just a really tough game for us. I'm gonna start off by saying this, man. I'm in burst. You're not gonna get back on defense. You're not gonna fight. How you gonna play at the next level if you can't even get in there and fight and get a loose ball? Now, turn them phones in at 9.30 because that's, that's what y'all care about the most. At 9.30, we have all the kids turn their phone in just so that when they go to bed, they actually can sleep and not be distracted by their phone throughout the night. And then the next morning at breakfast, we'll turn around and hand them all back out to the kids. It's been a long day, uh, but we're ready to bounce back tomorrow and hopefully get the win. I take yesterday, okay? You just didn't have no energy. You guys didn't sleep, you didn't do nothing. So I, I, I took that. So today, have my back and go out there and fight and, and play as hard as you can play and stick your neck out there because I stuck one out there for you guys. All right, let's go. Bring it in. Hey. Lead on three. One, two, three. Lead. Beginning of the game, Run GMC, they came out real hard. But then once we calmed down, we got into our sets. I pulled the team together and said, we got to finish this, we got to go hard. I'm going to give them all, y'all call them my lead, we're going to finish this game. That, that, that's really when the game started to change. We uh, brought the intensity, playing pressing, half court. We got to steal, try to get every loose ball. That really changed the game, that's how we took the lead. Go Jaden, go Jaden! There you go! We got the dub, baby. Man, that was a good win. We had to bounce back from yesterday. Um, we didn't play as good as we thought we could, but we still put it off. The whole team, we all tired, so we probably gonna rest. So this right here, it's a Norma Tech. It, it compresses your legs, keep your blood flowing. You feel great after it loosens up your body. 
But this feel good. Yeah, this feel good. Diamond press on the mate, and I want deflections and steals and dunks. Let's go. Lead on three. One, two, three. Hey. Hey. Jaden, you know, he's doing a pretty good job of doing the things that he does well, which is attacking the glass. What he needs to really start doing is really being a captain, a leader, being a little bit more vocal with his teammates. To be the player that he can be, he needs to crank it up a little bit more in the leadership department. Rebound! Getting the game, I want to get my boys involved, the team, uh, get the whole team going, get everybody feeling good. Our whole team is playing together, and he's playing well. Bring it in, bring it in tighter. Guys, a way to get the win. Tomorrow we play at 10.30, lead on three. One, two, three. Get live, get live, baby, get live, get live. Hey. Let's come out with intensity, let's come out with energy. Guys, everybody's gonna get out here and participate. Lead on three, come on, bring it in. One, two, three, lead. In that game, we came out pretty strong, hit a three. We got a quick dunk. So momentum was on our side. We made sure everybody got together and we um, told each other we're gonna play hard, we got each other back so we can get this win. The whole time uh, we was playing pretty hard. We kept running up the score. Before we go into Indianapolis, we gotta keep bringing the same intensity. Um, our goal is to go 4 0. Hey, you up? In high school, you have to get prepared for college. When he was in middle school, you know, his father said you have to get prepared for high school. Um, and so that's the way it's always been. I don't think he look at it as pressure. Because when you look at it as pressure, it may not be as fun. And I think that's why he's able to push himself that much more. You get your um, report card for me? School first, and then everything after that. Not too bad. Three A's and one B. So we can, we can bring that B up. That's what, that's what I think. All right, have a good day. You don't want your breakfast sandwich? Well, eat something at school now. This is my son know. right here. This, this is my, my Jalen. When I first met Jaden, we was at school. And I was like, nah, he ain't good. He overrated. He overrated. He actually came up to me in the hallway and he was like, so you was talking about I'm not good? I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I was like. You see, we about to do a little mini, a mini dunk contest real quick by someone who got the most bounce. I mean, he know I'm going. Win. So it's not the same. I don't even believe that. Let's get this going. <laughs> I get out of seven too. We can do better than that. Yeah. 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 That wasn't better than mine. That wasn't. Uh, that, that, wasn't. Was that wasn't better. That wasn't. That wasn't better. Oh, so we gotta do one more? We got one more round. One more round. One more. No, one more. Hey! This is close, but I gotta get it. It don't matter what the judge say, I know, I know I won. <laughs> We just got here, Indiana, for Under Armour Association. We played 840 against Team Sizzle and uh, Jalen Suggs' team. Uh, they're pretty tough, so we gotta come out ready. I know him pretty well, been playing against him for years now. Somebody I love to play against. Just gotta keep him from off the ball, uh, can't let him control the game. One, two, three, Please. four, five, six. Bam. I feel like we started off pretty good. They uh, came out with the first shot, it was a three. 
we came back down, got an easy layup. And then after that, we, um, our tempo, we just getting fast break points. They came back in the second quarter of the tie game. In a battle of two really highly rated guys, um, and Jalen Suggs and, and Jaden, it's a really good matchup. From the moment the game started, Jaden guarded Jalen. You know, when you're a talented guy, that's exactly, see right there, that's a hell of a block on one of the better players in the country. The black Jaden. The competition between me and Jalen, was, uh, it was pretty good. He was such a great player, so it was easy for him to get um, easy shots. Uh, it was real physical. Uh, pretty much, they were setting a lot of screens. I had to fight over screens. It was going back and forth, back and forth, pretty much the whole game. We had to come out with a mindset like, we can't let up. We got to keep pushing. We got to keep our foot on their neck. And so that's what really helped us. That's game. Yeah. Bye -bye, bro. Bye -bye, bro. Good job, boy. Oh, great job. He doesn't have a problem guarding anybody, whoever the best players, and Jalen Suggs is definitely one of the best players. He guarded him, he did well. Good job. I'll see you yeah. tomorrow. Right. Love you. Get some sleep. I will. Beginning the game, we came out strong. The second quarter, they fought back. They were playing harder than us. The way we played, it was a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we played bad team basketball. We started going one-on-one, -on -one, trying to be selfish. That's the reason why we lost. Yeah, like I said, man, y'all gonna have to Don't figure it out and game. trust each other and play together. Why not trust your teammate? We played better <laughs> the first tournament we ever played together than we do now. Three on three. One, two, three. 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 It's a must-win game. If we want to make it to the playoffs, we got to win this game. It's just that simple. We dug ourselves in the hole, and the only way y'all going to get out of it is if y'all play together. Hey guys, let's bring the energy from the beginning, man. Lead on three. One, two, three. Lead. They came out early, had a pretty good lead. The mindset is coming in with this game is to play as more as a team, to play together. We came back. And we took over, we actually took over. At the end of the game, they hit a few threes. Easy layup, so that's what really turned the game around at the end. Uh, our coach gave us the plays, and we just didn't run our plays. Uh, we can't lose no more games, really. Those two losses big on it. Hey, good game, fellas. Way to fight. You know, at the end of the day, we tried the best we could. I thought guys played hard. Uh, we just came up short. Tomorrow, we play eight. All right, lead on three. One, two, three. Lead. Jaden, wake up. 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 I know for one, Jaden does not do well in morning games, period. This morning we had a real early game, uh, played against a team from New England. Our team came out slow, we all woke up late, got to the gym late, so we didn't really get that much time to stretch. Yo, y'all gotta wake up, y'all jogging, y'all sucking. They took an early lead, but we kept playing, we fought through it, um, we started getting our bodies more into the game. Run, Jalen! Our intensity was down, we had to bring, uh, pick up our intensity. And that's what really helped us get the win.
Yes, sir. I told you we gonna get the dub. We lost three games, so that puts us at five and three. We also got another tournament in Atlanta. We gotta play hard, we gotta step it up, we gotta get some stops, we gotta come out fighting. What's up guys, it's Overtime Larry. Thank you guys for watching. I told you we'd be off the court with these players, showing off their real personality. If you like these videos, check out these right here. And also subscribe, click that button for me.